Hello students, in this video we'll discuss the put call formula when dividends are included in the stock price. So suppose we have a stock with initial price S0 and European put and call options with strike price and expiration T capital. If the stock pays a dividend of rho at time tau, then we have the following rendition of put call parity. Then put call parity will read as follows. It will say that the call option price minus the put option price is the initial value of the stock minus rho e to the minus r t minus tau minus k e to the minus r t where here r is the risk-free rate of return. So let's see an example of this. Let's suppose that the call is worth 4, the put is worth 3, the initial stock price S0 is worth 40, the strike price K is 100, tau is equal to 1, and T is equal to 2. In this situation, assuming that R is the log of 1.05, find the dividend. Once we have all this information, we can simply plug it into the formula. We have 4 minus 3, that's the call minus the put, is the initial stock price, which is 40, minus the unknown dividend, E, to the minus, the rate is given by the log of 1.05. T was 2 and tau was 1, so I have a 1 here. And then I have minus the strike price, 100, e to the negative 2 times the log of 1.05. And so what we see is we see that if we simplify this, that 1 is equal to 40 minus rho e to the negative natural log of 1.05 minus 100 e to the log of 1 over 1.05 quantity squared by properties of logarithms. In simplifying this, we see that 40 minus rho and then e to the negative log of 1.5 is the same as dividing by 1.05. And then what we have over here is we'll have minus 100 over 1.05 quantity squared. So isolating this and solving for rho, we will put this on the other side of the equation. This will tell me that rho over 1.05 will be equal to 40 minus 1 minus 100 over 1.05 squared. Therefore, rho will be 1.05 times 40 minus 1 minus 100 over 1.05 squared. And that will be our dividend payment at this given time. So it's important to realize that once we have the formula by put call parity, once we know particular parameters in the problem, we just simply substitute them into the put call parity formula and we're able to find the remaining parameter for free. Now it should be noted that there's a variation of this. The variation for continuous dividends 
input call parity is call minus put is equal to S0 e to the negative delta t minus k e to the negative rt, where delta is the continuous dividend rate and r is the risk-free rate. This put call parity is a generalization of the discrete case when I add up a finite number of dividends and pass to the limit. So either of these formulas can be used when trying to find values of puts, calls, initial stock prices, dividend rates, or strike prices. Thank you very much.